Hey everyone, and welcome back to Stunlight Media. Mechanic Aaron Kaufman was a fan favorite on Fast and Loud. So, what happened to him? Why did he leave? And what's he been up to since? Gas Monkey Garage in Dallas, Texas is a famous as the home of the Discovery Channel series Fast and Loud, which follows the team of mechanics and modifiers as they fix up old cars and create new works of automotive art. Aaron, the star mechanic of Richard Rawlings' Garage, started working at Gas Monkey long before the TV cameras started rolling, and it was Kaufman's creations that often caught the eye. Fast and Loud is still a popular show. However, Rawlings has been without right-hand man Kaufman since 2016, when the mechanic announced that he was quitting the show and Gas Monkey Garage. So what happened to break up one of the best-known duos in motoring TV shows? And what is Aaron Kaufman doing now? Aaron Kaufman quit Fast and Loud because of creative differences at Gas Monkey Garage. Aaron quit Gas Monkey Garage in 2016 because of creative differences with the owner, Richard Rawlings, and his approach to fixing up vintage cars that they bought cheap on the street. Kaufman wanted to be able to have more flexibility when it came to the kinds of cars he could work on. Kaufman and owner Richard Rawlings wanted to take different approaches to car modifications. While Kaufman quit Gas Monkey Garage in 2016, his departure wasn't screened on Fast and Loud until 2017, in an emotional scene between Kaufman and his mentor and friend, Richard Rawlings. It seems that Kaufman was keen to try a different approach to car modifications and that he needed to strike out on his own. The two mechanics had very different visions for the kind of work they wanted to do. Rawlings and Kaufman may have worked together for years, but when it came down to it, Rawlings was still the boss. The two mechanics were both very creative guys, but each also had their own very strong ideas about what kind of work they wanted to do, and Kaufman felt he wasn't allowed to be creative at Gas Monkey Garage. Kaufman especially disliked the strict deadlines the producers imposed on Fast and Loud. Aaron's difficulties weren't just with Richard and the way he was running Gas Monkey Garage. He also felt that producers of Fast and Loud were too restrictive when it came to filming, and that the deadlines they imposed to ensure episodes were completed on time made it difficult to work. He felt these deadlines prevented him from doing his best work on their projects. Kaufman is a man who loves detail when it comes to his custom car projects, and he felt that the producer's deadlines were preventing him and Rawlings from being able to do their own work. He felt that the level of craftsmanship at the garage was suffering because of the tight deadlines that they were being forced to work to. Even though Kaufman left fast and loud, he remained good friends with Rawlings. It was a big shock to Fast and Loud fans when Kaufman told Richard Rawlings that he was leaving Gas Monkey Garage, and Rawlings himself seemed to take the news pretty hard. However, despite their creative differences, Kaufman was clear that he had no personal issues with Rawlings, and the two have remained good friends. Having quit Gas Monkey Garage, Kaufman decided to set up his own shop, Arc Like Fabrication. Once he had stepped away from Gas Monkey Garage, it didn't take long for Aaron Kaufman to set up his own garage, where he would have complete creative control over all the projects. He launched his own shop, Arc Light Fabrication, also in Dallas, and opened the doors to customers in 2017. Arc Light's focus is on vintage Ford F Series pickups. Kaufman soon made it clear what kind of projects he wanted to work on at his new shop. Arc Light Fabrication was created with one particular vehicle in mind the Ford F Series pickup truck. However, not just any Ford pickup is going to find a home in Arclight, with Kaufman focusing on vintage Ford F-100 trucks. Arclight and Kaufman even starred in the Discovery series Shifting Gears, despite the difficulties that Aaron had experienced while working with TV crews on Fast and Loud. He nevertheless decided to invite the Discovery Channel cameras into his new shop and went on to star in his motoring show Shifting Gears with Aaron Kaufman, which ran for two series in 2018. The show featured the long-term projects Kaufman prefers. There was a major difference between the way the projects were filmed on Fast and Loud and on Shifting Gears. While Fast and Loud cars had to be finished within the one-hour show, Aaron Kaufman insisted that each vehicle on Shifting Gears was featured on at least two episodes, so that the team had more time to complete their work. That brings us to the end of today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to leave a like to the video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.